welcome to my channel. So you may be wondering, where have I been? Wow. Well, I've been everywhere. Um, I am looking to make a start back to this channel. I know I literally uploaded about one or two videos on it um, about a year ago. Um, I was I did also have another channel at the time. Um, and then I made this one to do different types of videos like vlogs and things like that um and yeah life just went away with me and i never really created much for it so i'm back and i'm looking to try to make a lot more videos um so yeah today i'm just doing a little vlog really um i haven't actually vlogged before properly i did like vlogmas on my previous channel um like a year and a half ago but other than that i haven't really vlogged so you're gonna have to bear with me on this one um i also am going on holiday tomorrow so i thought that that would be a good thing to vlog as well so i thought i'd just practice this and if it's rubbish i won't upload it um actually i probably will anyway even if it's rubbish because you've got to start somewhere um so at the moment i'm currently in an airbnb apartment um i am in bedford we have been here for a couple of days my boyfriend had work here um so i came and stayed with him and yeah so i thought i'd just give you a little flat tour whilst i'm here because it's actually really nice and i kind of want it so let me go to the door and i'll give you a little tour so this is the front door that you come in and then there's like the kitchen area and like the lounge area. Um, I think it's so nice. I'm in the middle of like we're leaving today, so we've kind of we've like been here already. So maybe that's our stuff that we bought. So we're gonna take that with us. Um, yeah, I think it's so nice for like such a little place. Um, let's see. Sheen lounge was set, love it. And then here, I'm oh, going this way, is one of the bedrooms. Um, and then there's like a big wardrobe there. And then the bathroom. And that was that other door that I went to. I really like the, like, whatever that is, I don't know, the tiles. They're cool. I don't know, I think they're tiles. Yeah, they are tiles. Right, and then the room we stayed in is here. So that's the lounge area again. And then the room we stayed in is here. And there's my stuff. And then this is our bathroom. And bed, which has been sat on, so I've creased it all up again. And yeah. And outside, I mean, it's not really much to see out there. Yeah, I haven't really been around this area at all because we got here late. Was it Wednesday night? Yeah, and then I work, did work um, on a computer all day yesterday. Literally until like midnight, so that was fun. Um, and then, yeah, we'll watch Love Island. And then we didn't watch last night's Love Island for some reason. We didn't go on ITV Hub until well we looked at 11 and it still wasn't on there so we watched the one from the night before because we missed that um so that was weird i don't know why it didn't go on there i did see loads of people tweeting about it so i don't know if there was a problem um but at least i've got that to catch up on tonight and then tomorrow morning we are flying to poland um i think we are getting to the airport for nine so it's going to be an early morning and do you know what? I really messed up my packing to come here because we packed because we're getting back tonight and we're going on holiday tomorrow morning we packed our holiday things um when, before we left for here and the bag for here and for some reason I managed to put all my clothes in the other bag and forgot to put some in this suitcase so that's why I'm just wearing this loungewear out today I don't normally wear things like this out because I don't, I don't really know why, to be honest, but 
I don't know, but yeah, I'm gonna have to wear it out today because I haven't got anything else. I just think that some of them are nice. This one looks a little bit more like pajamas, I think. So that's probably why I don't really like wearing it out, but never mind. I either have green trousers and a blue top or green trousers and one of these and this jumper. So I think we'll just have to wear this matching set because none of them are gonna go. Um, and anyway, yeah, I'm gonna stop talking because I need to just finish tidying up the apartment because I have to be out in like a little while. I think it's like half nine now, so I have to be out by ten. And Sam's on his way back now from work. So he's on his way back from work now. He's gonna meet me, and then we are driving to like somewhere near Birmingham to get a car because he's bought a new car that we've got to go pick up. Um, so. Yeah, we, I think it's like an hour and a half drive from here. Then we've got to drive home, which is like three hours, but it's going to be rush hour and it's a Friday. So it's going to be awful. I'm going to take you along with me. I think we're going to go and get some lunch somewhere as well up near there. When we get there, I think we're just going to head straight there and then get some food where we went the other day because um, we went to look at the car last week, I think it was. So we went to this just a pub and it was quite nice. So we're going to go there again I think but I will take you along with me I actually don't know how I feel about filming in public um <laughs> I've done it like once and it was really scary but I'm gonna I want to vlog Poland tomorrow so I'm gonna have to get used to it in this one day to be able to do it I'll try we're on our way home there was an accident we just got stuck for like an hour Sam told me to go into the shop and get him a surprise something he'd like, but I don't know what to get. Um, I'm getting a bottle of coke, but I don't know what food to get him. Do you like your present? Big present. Do you like your car? How's the date been yeah. so far? And imagine it's <laughs> yeah. a bit yeah. frustrating for you. Uh, first and foremost, he was uh, was mine. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, now obviously you could learn a lot uh, this first session. Hello. Uh, okay. I'm just really quickly doing my nails before we go away tomorrow. I still need to wash my hair and do all that, pack the rest of my stuff. And it's already like eight o'clock and we leave at like nine in the morning. Oh. So I went for this really light pink shade, like it's really nude, you can barely see it. Um, but just for something on my nails, this is the color and it is Tainted Love. Welcome to Bournemouth Airport. We're having food here. Uh, There's food in the Navigator pub and dining. Do they have like a normal food menu as well like, during the day? Oh, and it seems um, quite busy. Sam eating meal deal. <laughs> what have you got? Tuna sandwich, quavers and Pepsi Max. Are you scared? Yeah, very. Are you? Yes. How are you feeling, Mark? You Hi. excited for your breakfast? Oh, I can't wait. <laughs> Mark would just stuff his face, he doesn't care. <laughs> This is a typical breakfast for Mark at an airport. Airport breakfast. They've got Weatherspoon's plates there, haven't they? Pancakes. Megan's so helpful. Yum. Really healthy me. Well, pancakes. Going to check the board to see when our, where our gate is. Walking through the airport. I feel the other way. I feel the airport. In the airport. Yeah, it's like the smallest airport you will ever see in your life. How many gates are there? We have five. There's six. Oh, we can't even see where we're going. Um, 
It doesn't even say yet. Oh, gate opens in 25 minutes, but we don't know which gate. That's ages yet. Look at that. So nervous, you can't even pour your milk. <laughs> wow. Are you excited? No. I'm not. I'm scared. I'm, I'm so scared. scared. I don't like it. I filmed as we were coming into land and then I was like, no, I've got to stop this now, I'm too scared. <laughs> but oh, we are here. Off. Did he? Yeah. Oh, that's good. I caught half most of the landing. McDonald's pony style. With a nice Sharing small chip. Sharing fries for Mark. What did you get, Sam? Um, a double burger. Some sort of double burger for Sam. Mm. Chicken, Chicken nuggets. nuggets for Megan. Standard Big Mac. Never ever have I seen chips that big. Oh, can't you use your head? Can't we use your head? Can't we use your head? Huh? Can't we use your head? Never mind a mega pine, mega packet of shit. <laughs> Here we are in Krakow. Say hello. Hello. This is the dragon of Krakow who apparently used to eat virgins. Every now and again he breathes fire. I don't think it does it very often. Don't know. We him breathing fire. This is the river. Don't drop the phone. Don't drop the phone. This is Barvel Castle. That's where the dragon lives. The mythical dragon.
We are having cocktails at, what time is it? Quarter uh, past 12. What have you got? Pina colada. What's yours? Blue Lagoon. And Mark had a coke, but it's finished it already. <laughs> this is where we are. On the river, on like a restaurant boat thing. So we went to the old town in Krakow. Krakow? Krakow? Krakow. I still don't know how to say it, and I've heard a million people say it. Krakow, yeah. How to say it? Kra Krakow. Um, and yeah, so we've just been down here. There's not anything open on Sundays, and we don't really realise, so we basically starved all day um, and just had food now, haven't we? Yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't really ideal. Basically, the only things that we found that have been open were like fast food places. And, you know, we didn't really want to have that like all day, every day. So, yeah, so we've had, we just had some food. Um, and now we're, I think we're going back to the car to go back to our apartment, but I'll just show you what's around. So this is a street that we're walking up. There's like some shops and things along here, but pretty much all of them are closed. And um, there's a couple open, like some sweet shops and things, but most of them are shut. Mark and Michaela are somewhere, I can't find them, I'm trying to find them. I don't know. Walking along. And I just nearly walked into someone, so I'm not a very good vlogger in public. I apparently don't know where I'm going. Tonight's Love Island, and we go to bed. Fast forwarding to future me, nearly a month later, I have come on to give you a little haul. So the second day of Poland, so the second full day we were there, we went um, to visit Auschwitz. So obviously that was not the place that I was gonna film or take any pictures. Um, so obviously there's no footage from that day at all. After we had been there, we then went to shopping centre in the evening which again I just thought I'll give you a haul of everything that I bought when I get home rather than filming around the shopping centre. I've also got some bits that Michaela bought as well so I can show you what she got. So to be honest Poland's so cheap they have their own currency called Zloty so they have an amazing shopping centre it was massive I think it was three floors and it's just like in a sort of O type shape like you walk all the way around um, and there's like food halls on each floor it's really good so the first thing that I got was a pair of joggers. They're just blue joggers. Um, and I'm not sure what shop they're from, but in here it says Sensei, like that. And they were five pound, so that is a bargain. I don't even know, I'm not sure what that was in Polish currency because I haven't got the labels still in. Um, I got them in a size small and I also got a white pair as well, but I think they're in the wash because I can't find them. And the next thing that I got, which was an absolute bargain, was a coat from Zara. I mean, it was about 34 degrees when we were there and I bought a coat, but I couldn't say no. So it's like a puffer jacket with a hood. Put it on, hang on, this is what it looks like. It drowns me. And it's got a hood. And it's so soft and warm. And I think it was, so it was in the sale, and it was like £13, equivalent to £13, something ridiculous like that. Like, who gets a Zara coat for £13? I think normally it was like 70 13 what a bargain. And then, next thing, um, I'll show you, oh I got this from Zara as well. It's one of the Zara perfumes. This is Tuberose. Zara Weekend Zero Two. It smells really nice. I wish you could smell it because I can't really describe smells very well. But again, this was like six, seven pound, and it smells so nice as well. Like you wouldn't think that it's from Zara. And then the next thing I have is a top that Michaela bought. It's like a halter neck. Just giving you demos of all the tops. Halter neck top. But I'm pretty sure it was in the sale and it was like three pound. And it's from H and M. It's the divided section. So that's that one. And then the next few bits of bobs we got was from Bath and Body Works. We both got one of these. 
which is the iced coconut milk scented candle which is like a three wick candle but it smells so nice so yeah we got two of those okay we've got this one as well which is vanilla and peach tea it smells really nice all of these candles are from bath and body Works, by the way and then the next one she got was like a banana cake candle which again smells really nice it's quite sh like rich this one like if you don't like a rich candle then this one's maybe not for you but it is really nice it kind of reminds me of butterscotch for some reason and then the last of the candles was twisted peppermint so it's like a christmas candle so i'm sure she'll be saving that for christmas and it basically just smells like peppermint really nice and it's pink again three wicks all of these and the last two items were some hand soaps so this is the strawberry pound cake Let's see if i can smell it yeah it smells like um those strawberry laces sweets that you can get in really nice and also the pink pineapple sunrise gentle foaming hand soap that one don't think we can open this one no this one doesn't open but it sounds really nice so yeah that is everything that we got in poland so that will be the end of this video please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for lots more videos and i promise i will get better at vlogging thank you for watching bye Thank you.